What's going on friends, Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com. Tonight I'm going to be talking about yet another terrible movie that came out in 2018. A movie that I'm glad I did not see in the big screen. I'm talking about Venom, directed by Ruben Fleischer. And it stars Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. And we have Riz Ahmad playing the villainous character in this film, Carlton Drake. So we have this alien symbiote that bonds with Eddie Brock and takes over his body and essentially he becomes this Venom character. That's the setup of the film. Once this happens, uh, there's some really good parts of this film. Uh, one of the few things I did like about the film is how they portrayed Venom and the symbiote. How the symbiote basically tells him what to do, is talking to him inside of his head. And people think that Eddie's crazy because he's just talking and nobody's there, but he's talking to the symbiote. So really cool dialogue in between. Uh, but one thing I didn't like about this film is when Eddie becomes Venom. Sounds like a really bad Christian Bale, um, Batman impression. <laughs> you know, like a lot of that throughout the film of Venom talking. It's really hard to understand them. In this film, we have Michelle Williams that's playing Eddie's ex-girlfriend. They really have no chemistry whatsoever, and you really don't care about their relationship. And, uh, you know, she's kind of thrown in there as a love interest, ex-love interest, and you just really don't care about her, which is unfortunate because I do like Michelle Williams. And Riz Ahmad, I love this actor. He's been in a lot of great stuff. Nightcrawler, The Night Of on HBO, Rogue One. He's been in a ton of stuff and a really great actor, but in this film, he's just very underutilized. I think it's more the, the writing of the character and maybe some of the direction and the directing of the character it just was really boring and you didn't really care about him being the villain and, and using bums for like experiments and with the symbiote. You just really don't care about this character at all. And, and Sony's notorious for throwing in really, really bad villains in their films. Um, a lot of the Spider-Man films are stupid villains, so it just didn't make sense to this film either. You know, growing up reading comics, being huge into Spider-Man, and Venom was so badass in the comic books, I just love the artwork. You know, he's had a big following over the years, and he's still a great icon in comic books, but you know, he hasn't had a great representation on the big screen uh, depicting this character, this origin story, Eddie Brock, you know, turning into Venom. And yet again, they just did not nail this movie in any way, shape, or form. The writing, the directing, the acting was all over the place. It was very, very choppy. The first act of the film, I was really invested. You know, the setup of the film, beautiful shots of San Francisco. I've seen Eddie Brock's character and then coming across the symbiote. And then the rest of the film just went downhill, lost my interest. It was just all over the place. It's really unfortunate because I think the Venom an Eddie Brock character. I think there's a good, there's a way to really depict this character. And I think there's still hope for this character. I don't think Sony's the one to do it justice or do the character justice. And another fault of this film, you know, with seeing great films with R ratings or super gory, you know, there's a lot of action and killing, you know, Logan and Deadpool. And I thought, you know, early on when they started discussing and started releasing information about the Venom movie being made with Tom Hardy, they're gonna go at this with a darker approach and I thought they meant an R rating, but since it's PG-13, it's, it's missing a lot of great aspects that the other superhero movies really had in them that made them interesting and compelling, and he felt for them. Um, you know, with this character of Eddie Brock and Venom, PG-13, you don't really see Venom, like, biting off heads of people. You just see the shadow. Overall, Venom, it, the first act was great, and then it just kind of went downhill. Um, I was pretty much disappointed in this. I re had really high hopes for this, because I'm a huge Tom Hardy fan. Love the character of Venom, um, you know, Riz Ahmad and other actresses and actors in this film. And it just fell apart early on and it just, I could not get invested into it, to the silliness that uh, the final product of the movie was. The choppiness, the directing, the acting, you know, the throwing in comedy. It was just all over the place and not really understanding which genre I was trying to, to fit into. You know, kind of like what I was talking about with The Predator that came out this year. You're not really sure which genre it's going at and it's all over the place. So that being said, I'm going to give Venom a two and a half out of five Venom air pieces. So what'd you guys think of Venom? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What'd you think of Tom Hardy's depiction of old Eddie Brock? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from the old Golden Gate Bridge here in San Francisco to San Francisco Treat. Until next time, cheers!